Alex, you know who Elphaba is, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's my best friend. Yeah, of course you do. You made so many videos about her. And I think it's fair to say you are not her biggest fan. Anyway, I'm kind of like an outside view of Elphaba. I see her stuff come up on my TikTok and I kind of find it a bit funny, but I don't really know that much about her. So today I thought we'd watch some uh, Elphaba clips together. And <laughs> I've seen all of them, you know, that's the worst part. All of them? Every single one, I'm not joking, like, everyone. I actually made money tonight. I mean, so much, I mean, the five pound works. I didn't think it would go well, but it did. People gave me a tenner. I got given tenners and cash. Five pound for a pig is mad. Oh, well, tough. I gotta do it. People wanted to give more. I was like, what, excuse me? Like, no, anything for Alphabet, they said. Anything for Alphabet, I was like, what? I've made a new rule, right? So, if you give me the five, right, why don't you want to take a photo with me? You can take as many as you want. So, she's actually charging people money for pictures. That's just really funny. How can you look at that and go, that's not funny? I mean, if it works, some people would say it's taking advantage of drunk people and nights out, but if they're willingly throwing money at you, would you really say no? Clubs and bars do worse. They charge you like £12 for a double, some of them. Can I just say something? £5 for a photo of Alphabet or like half a pint of beer. Your choice. Alex. Maybe it's jealousy because people always thought that getting pictures of me would be for free. I guess they just didn't value me high enough. Whereas the fact that Alphabet is higher up in the in the picture food chain than me is quite upsetting. <laughs> That's a 20. Those are 20s and 10s. Given this. Given this. Given this. Given this. Got given this. Tonight was insane. It was mad. I was recognised everywhere. And I charged for once. I got like something more in in cashless because I, I have a card machine. There was only two people that didn't like it, and that was it. But everyone else was like, "I respect you for doing." It. I respect her. I respect her for charging money for photos. I can't help but feel like I have missed out on a lot of cash over the years. So I'm not gonna lie. From now on, you should just take out like a contactless card reader with you. Oh, nobody recognizes me. No, no George, George <laughs> nobody recognizes me anymore. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> There's a long card. I feel so much for just face reveal and carry around a little contactless card reader. No. So even better is you shouldn't face reveal and you should go around with the mask on and charge people for you to take it off. That's a way better business model. I want people who are honest and real and respect my identity. That's it. No, I've had enough. That's it. I've had enough now. I've had enough. You've been talking for hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that her mum? I don't know the context of any- I don't know any of the alphabet law. Is this her mum? That is her mum. I mean, to be fair, if your daughter was, like, live streaming 24-7 in your house, at what point would it be too much for you? If my child streamed on TikTok live for more than a minute, they'd be getting the belt. <laughs> It's such a pathetic live streaming platform, innit? They'd be getting the belt. I don't, I don't... How many coins does that one cost? I've only seen the lion and the and the rose. Like, the donation system is so pathetic. Oh, thank you for the roses. Just donate money instead of shit. The best part is, is like when people say thank you for the roses, like that translates to like 0 0.02 pence. It's like not even worth saying thank you to. Everyone deserves to be accepted. Everyone deserves to be respected. Most importantly. Everyone deserves to live, bitch! What does she do on her lives? Like, what do people tune in for? Because it seems as though she just sits in front of them and just waffles. Well, currently she's documenting her um, battle with scabies. Uh, what? Scabies? That sounds like a pirate illness. She's got scabies right now and she's given it to a bunch of people that she's been making TikToks with. So they've all got like this this disease now. You, scabies? I don't have a fucking clue what's going on to be honest. I have, I have limited knowledge, but more knowledge than any man should have. I've got to look up what scabies is. What on oh earth? my god. Why so would she like show this off? They're mites that dig into your skin. Ugh! Why would you just keep this to yourself? Why would you- <laughs> If I had scabies, I would not tell a soul. Yeah, I would keep it quiet. Oh yeah, so she's in trouble right now because she has scabies. I mean, she went to Gucci and started trying on shoes and then like, <laughs> put them back. Oh my god. People have called up the Gucci store being like, you need to like, de everything so that people don't get scabies. It's awful. It's so grim. If you're a fucking wolf or you're a fucking animal or a furry, whatever the fuck you are, you're stunning. You're a warrior. No! No, they're not! No, they're not, man! They're fucking not! That's just lying, isn't it? They're not. They should be treated like rabid animals and they should be fucking put down. <laughs> should we go up now? 
What makes people want to do this to themselves? Like where they just go on live and cry? She makes a lot of money. Really? How much? I was told it was like at least over 10 grand a month. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't embarrass myself this much for 10 grand a month, but fair enough. And I think, okay, so what if I was to go green to the protest and bring attention to that? Because media and press would focus on the trans protest if someone looked completely different. Um, it's like, it's like, a, it's like um, I, would, I would kind of be that kind of beacon of light <laughs> to the trans protest because I've seen drag queen. What? <laughs> Who does she think she is? Princess Diana? She's going to dress up as the witch from Wicked. She loves Wicked. That's like the only thing I know about Elphaba is she loves Wicked and singing the song from Wicked. <laughs> When I was at this like launch party, she got up and, and sang it. I was there. I was there. <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't really know what was going on because I wasn't too familiar with her, and I was on a boat, so I couldn't. I couldn't even get away. We couldn't leave. We were stuck there. That's where the um the scurvy came from. Off in it though. Of course they are, because everyone laughs at me. Everyone fucking laughs at me. <laughs> what the? What? It gets worse. When I was trying to do something for myself, actually perform at a pride, and raise awareness and try and be proud of myself and sing. Okay, do you want the context for this? She, I think, was invited to perform for, like, a show, and then she went on live and was like, it's at a charity event, by the way, and went, please bring your money with you because I will be taking personal donations and tips <laughs> away from the charity. That's so unreal! If you do want to tip me, tips are free to open. Like, if you want to tip me for my performance after the show, because that's happened to me before, um, Tip me all you want. I'll give you like a jar or something. So she was like, I, I will be taking money for myself for my performance. And then everybody on TikTok called up the people and were like, she's going to like steal all your money. They kicked her off and this is her <laughs> complaining about that. <laughs> taking personal donations at a charity event. That is, oh, that's unreal. I like, want you to take that shit away from me. Like, Does she live with her parents? Because they should be taking her fucking phone away. No, no, she's in a hotel, don't worry. No, 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 but like, who, does she live at home or something? She moved in with another TikToker who's like 60 years old called Chelsea Liar. She's equally as mental. She came over to me Hello. saying that I'm too loud. Hello. So I've just said to her, I'm TikTok famous. She's no, just said to me fine. that I look 62. And she was and rude and everything's recorded okay. and I'm famous. She's not. At 60 years old, you should be like edging upon like grandmotherhood. Not living with a 20 year old TikToker that has meltdowns on live streams. Yeah, but mate, it's all about the weekly rankings. You would understand the grind that they're on. What does that even mean? They has a weekly ranking on TikTok. And if you get in a certain amount of it, then you get like rewarded. You get like more money. So they basically have like a freak show, like a circus. A circus used to be like where if an animal doesn't perform, they shoot it dead. It's like that on TikTok. So if you don't get in the weekly rankings, uh, they kill you. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> is going on it's matting i i've i've been to i've been to college about i've, I've got my i've got my grades i also know um a shakespeare uh, monologue only half of it i can remember half of it though but um i got i, I passed all yeah i only know half of it it's to be i don't know the rest what does that mean i know half a shakespeare monologue what does that mean they're all shit aren't they so it's not even a flex so you know i can still go to a drama school i've got all my qualifications i need it's just I'm probably doing next year or something. I want to go to drama school. Like, I feel like I could do it. Nice in every school I went to. That's the thing. That's why I'm always hesitant because I want to go to college. To be fair, I think Alphaba should do drama school because. That's really horrible. I'm not keeping that in. <laughs> you can't be that horrible, Alex. Oh, no, not this one. Like, is that dandruff? I swear. She's got lice in her hair. You can see what? them. Wait, what? Are you sure that's not just like really bad dandruff? No, it's lice. How do I stop flaky scalp? This is like genuinely bad. I knew nothing about this person going in. I, this is like genuinely bad. They have diseases that only people from the 1800s have. It's crazy. I, I fully do suffer with anxiety ticks. Ticks, I don't really do so a million percent. And I'm actually scared I do tick. Okay. Um, so I said I had Tourette's uneducatedly. So what I remember saying I had Tourette's. I shouldn't have said that at all. I really shouldn't have. I do tick. Oh, yeah, she lied about having Tourette's. Right. 
Why? For attention, obviously, and money and gifts and, like, to make people feel sorry for her because, like, her grift is basically, like, she lies about having something and then the people who also have those things go, oh, I've got that, and they send her money. Witnesses who have seen it happen. And the reason why I don't do it on live is because I can suppress them. <coughs> <coughs> Wait, that's not what Tourette's is. You can't... I feel as though, like, isn't Tourette's, like, uncontrollable tics? No. This is what Tourette's is. You are being ableist, and you're wrong. I really like your content. What... What is her content? What is it? What is her content? Being, like, a... That's really mean, Alex. That's really mean. No, but come on. That is what this is. Um, no, sorry. I'm... Did she say no to the photo? Fair enough. If you're That eating, is valid. If you came up to me while I'm eating, I would be annoyed. Nothing gets in the way of my food, bitch. Hang on. We've we've missed something out there. What? If I came up and I was eating privately, I'd be annoyed. But you can't really go no to the photo. I value my privacy. Thanks for the roses, guys. Thanks for the roses. Thanks for the roses. Thanks for the roses. Thanks for the roses. <laughs> that is actually very true. She's live in the restaurant. <laughs> That is very true. I bet you fucking shut your pants one day. Make fun of my condition all you want, darling. Do you know what? I couldn't give a rat's fucking ass if you've seen skiddy boxes from my fucking landlord. Because do you know what? What? If you want to fucking pick on me for my IBS, you can- Wait, what is, what, what is going on? Her landlord posted pictures of the way that she'd left the state of her, like, Airbnb. I love how you know oh, every like, single thing about this woman's life. Yeah, there was just shit everywhere, George. But what, like, actual shit? Yeah. Right, that's okay. <laughs> this is just really strange. I expected this just to be like, I don't know, like a funny moment, but this is like actually like no, worrying. It's not. I'm worried it's for this It's depressing. Person. It's actually depressing. It's not enjoyable. It's actually quite sad. Because you know what? You probably shat your boxes one day or shat your fucking nappy one day. Shat your nappy? What, what when, you were, when you were a baby? That happened when I was 14. Because that she's out loud. Okay, I'll try and shoot quietly, but the problem is... My mouth is built in a different way. Whereas, like, I've got an open- Oh my god! She's got an excuse for everything, George. Everything is a disorder. You can't just go, yeah, okay, all right, I'll, I'll do that then. It's got to be like, actually, I've got big mouthy disease. I've got big mouth disease and like, I'm going to die. She would be on, like, ultimate benefits. She's like Thanos, but instead of it being, like, Infinity Stones. It's just different types of benefits. Wait, 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 wait. Read the next one out loud. Alphaba shit in a bag and leaves in CLA sink. Who, who's CLA? Chelsea Liart. She's, um, the 55 year old woman who she lives with. There's shit in a bag at all, isn't it? Oh, oh. No, I'm saying she put the wife in a bag, but she left the bag on my sink, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I didn't realise a lot of this would be so, like, shit themed. Yeah, that's TikTok for you. This is the website that YouTube fears is going to take over, by the way. <laughs> Sometimes I can't even shower to the point of where I have to be hosp hospitalised because of my cysts. There has to be some kind of TikTok safeguarding issue here. If TikTok even half cared about her well-being, they'd have banned her account, IP banned her, everything. Made sure she couldn't like live stream herself doing this. Because it's obvious this is just contributing. I'm just going to ask you a question. How many things have you been banned on TikTok for? How many videos you had taken down? I've had quite a few. Me? At least 50. This is okay, apparently. It's mental what TikTok allows and don't allow. I made a TikTok making fun of these people that were going to like set off fireworks in Stratford. No, it was like a smash or pass thing. They said they were going to do smash or pass in Stratford. I made fun of it. I got a strike on my account for making fun of it. Yet TikTok don't do basic safeguarding for stuff like this. It's insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does she think a seizure is? Subscribers. You don't need to subscribe to me next month. <laughs> if you can't afford it, don't. don't, 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 don't. That was, it was an accident. I can't. What, she charges £50 a month to be subscribed to her? So it's £5 a month. But then without anybody knowing, she changed it to 50 So when it renewed, everybody got charged 50 quid instead. Oh, that is so good. Honestly, Alphabet is out there chasing a bag like no other. She's out here charging people for selfies. She's out here taking tips during a charity event. And now she just does it's basically what is basically fraud. Do you know what's funny is that people get on her back, but these are the same people who go, the Wolf of Wall Street.
Jordan Belfort's like a really cool guy. This is Jordan Belfort. This is our version of the Wolf of Wall Street. I'll probably message TikTok like on the support thing and ask. Be honest, right? Even if you're paying five pound a month to Alphaba for a live subscription, that's on you. You deserve this. I remember watching a video of like this person. They were like on live and people were like interviewing people and they were like crying, being like, I've like sent like 10 grand to Alphaba. <laughs> what? And then it turned out that like they were like disabled and they'd been sending all of their money to Alphaba for some reason. It's just awful. Like the whole thing is terrible. But to be honest, like how vulnerable can you be to send 10 grand to Alphaba? What is she doing for you? What is she doing for you to the point where you're sending her money? They felt like they were, they were um similar, which is terrifying to think about. How are people resonating with what she does? She doesn't do anything. She said she had like autism and they said they had autism so they wanted to like help her and then obviously it turned out that she isn't diagnosed of anything her father admits oh to smelling like shit and i just i can't oh my god why would you admit to that on live i'm tired of it i was walking right i was going to the toilet i went for a toilet right i went for a toilet and i went nothing came out found out it came out the other end this seems to be like half her content I've seen so far. Just her saying she shat herself. Who are the people sending money to her? I shat on the bed. <laughs> I vomited shit. The bowels gave off. There are some things you can just keep to yourself and just not tell anybody. And this should be one. This should be one of those things. I vomited shit. What the fuck? Is that biologically possible? I don't even want to think about it. <gasps> oh, God. What? Why do any of you think it's funny to hate on me and to, to destroy my life? I am. It's probably because dying. it gets this sort of reaction out of you, right? That's why people do it. I know it makes money, but this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it in the end, is it? It's not. It should just turn the camera off. You want to my crabs in it? But I go on my duties. <laughs> the fucking the, the difference between these two videos is incredible. In the ends, in it. Yeah, I've got my craps, uh, and I've got my bunda, and... Oh, fucking hell. I'm not butters. That's a word I haven't heard in a few years, butters. I haven't heard that since about year nine. It's around the corner. Oh, I've had two of these. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the caption says she was pretending to be drunk. I had three beers the other day and was hammered, because I don't drink all that often. Yeah, that's because you're four foot four. If I'm four foot four, you're like four foot five. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to tell this. Wait, hang on. I just noticed the, the watermark. Alphaba Central 1. There's like accounts dedicated just to her. Yeah, my favourite one is Mrs. Alphaba Exposed. They've got everything Right, you know all these. Like, you have something actually wrong with you. I need to stop doing it as well. <laughs> I kind of started smoking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because she wasn't on her deathbed enough, so she wanted to speed up the process. So, it's getting a piece of treatable anyway. Let me show you the fucking stuff. My mum's got it oh. too. <laughs> I've caught it from someone in the club. I hugged someone at the club and they fucking gave it to me. What? How, how, how do you get scabies? Because, like, I literally... That's, like, something that you hear about in Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, it's like saying I caught scurvy off this person. So, it says, uh, direct prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact with a person who has scabies. I don't know many people I'm having prolonged skin-to-skin -skin combo... I don't know many people I'm having prolonged skin to skin combat with. Combat? Con contact! I'll fight you, fight you! I know plenty of people I'm having skin to skin combat with. I'll fight you skin to skin! I don't know many people I'm having skin to skin contact with for a prolonged period of time in the club. They've finally got that. Like Claire, it's this. Can someone help me get rid of it? It's this. I'm on this. I have smothered myself with this. I'm not kidding you. Apparently I'm gonna have itchiness for the four weeks. Apparently it's going around. I was told in London it's going around. <laughs> it's going around? Well, like it's the flu season, it's scabies season. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so I had a poo today. Oh, I'm gonna Why? keep going. Why? Oh, fucking hell. George, I hate this. I had a stomachache before. I literally thought I was going to die. The squidgy, massive, oh, giant ass can... fart flew out. Why share this? No one wants to hear about this. And a massive log flew out my ass. 
Um, let me tell you the details. There was three. Right, quiet. this is great. I'm skipping past this one. Yeah, I'm not watching the rest of that. This has been a horrible experience, I must say. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Like and subscribe. Check out Alex, and I'll see you in a bit.